Hello everybody, welcome back to yet another video. This one is going to be concerning the Kia, my Kia Stinger GTS long-term loaner from Kia Motors UK, as you can see behind me, which currently has a massive bird poo on it. We came out to find this this morning, which is lovely. Love a good bird poo on the car. The car, as you know, has been wrapped recently in Paris. It's had the windows tinted, the rear lights tinted, but it is time to go to Topaz to have a few more things done to it. We made it to Topaz then in the end, so we've got the car here and it's ready to go in. Now the first step is the car's actually gonna go in and be washed and be prepped for Topaz skin. So we're doing a few details, I'll show you later on in the video exactly. Topaz is just a cluster of very, very nice cars. 720S going in right there. But we're gonna do a few black details on this car to finish out the project in Topaz skin, which is a new um, sort of development that Topaz have come up with, which is revolutionary, I think, and could be the next step on from car wrapping. So I really wanna show you guys what that's all like, and we'll take you through the whole process. So we're gonna leave the car here, it's the end of the day, so we're not gonna be able to get started on it yet, and we'll come back tomorrow and see you then to see the next steps for this project. Day two of this process then, we are back at Topaz, ready to put the Topaz skin on the car, to spray it onto the car. I'm so excited to see how this goes and sort of how it works, because I've obviously never experienced this. And Topaz have been doing this for the last two months, and I'm sure they'll be getting loads of really, really cool cars in. So as you can tell, the whole car is covered in plastic to protect the paint, or in this case, wrap, from being sprayed as well. And then you sort of use tape to go around the areas that you want to spray so that only those feature the color that you're putting onto the car. I'm really excited to see the finishing touches for this. I think it's gonna really change it. The little, little details make a massive difference in the end. So it's pretty cool. We've also been looking around the car, taking the wrap off in a few areas, and uh, you know we can tell that there have been some areas where the wrap wasn't ideally done, which is a little bit worrying. So I'm gonna see you know, what we're gonna do in the end with the wrap, if we're gonna leave it this color, change it, wrap it again. I'm not entirely sure, we shall see. But uh, yeah, it's really cool the way they do it. They're so professional and uh, it, it just gives you so much confidence when you drop your car off somewhere like this, when you can see the sort of detail they're going into and they love your car and care for it almost more than you do yourself. Um, it's awesome because you can feel like you can just hand over the keys and be safe. So yeah, we're gonna get started with the spraying process. The car's details are going gloss black and so are the rims. I've just been handed this, which doesn't look like that much, but this is actually the Topaz skin once it's been ripped off of the car. It's surprisingly thick because there are quite a few layers that go into it. But the really cool thing, if you're wondering if I'm respraying the car, it's completely different from painting the car because this, you can just peel off like that. See, it's so easy to just peel off straight after. So you can go gloss, you can go matte as it's done here. And you can basically spec the car however you want to. It feels and looks like paint. Whenever you want to change it, you just rip it right off. First step is underway then. So we're putting the first layer, which is a peelable layer, which goes under the paint. And that's what allows you to peel the topaz skin off afterwards. So currently they are putting that on the rims and on the uh, sort of front little details and around the car on the roof as well. We're redoing the roof in black because the wrap I wasn't quite happy with. Um, so we're redoing all of those. So first things first, you put this, the peelable layer on so that when you rip it off, you don't have any problems. And then you put the paint and finally, the third layer is uh, sort of like a, a lacquer that goes on, but it's a bendable lacquer so that when you rip it off, it's not solid. So that all those put together allow you to have this process. And it does take a little longer sometimes than a wrap, but the finished product is just next level and so much better than you, I think you could get from a wrap. It also gives you more diversity in terms of color choice than a PPF would. So we're bashing through all of the different processes now. The guys are at work in this awesome paint booth and it's looking pretty good. Yeah. 
this is where the magic happens. As you can tell, behind me here, there's a wall of different paint. So if you thought it would be limiting and you could only have certain paint, you can have literally everything. This is what they've already got in stock here, which are fairly basic colors. But you can go on this machine right here, and you can literally put in any color from any brand. So I can put in, you know, Rosso Foco from Ferrari. It'll come up here. They then order the paint, and then they use their different stages of topaz skin, as you can see here. So we've got stage one, stage two, as I was telling you guys about. And we've got stage three here, and this is the gloss top coat activator. So this is what sort of gives it the gloss look. But not only that, you can also have the matte here. So as you can see, matte top coat activator. So once you put all of this together, you can literally do whatever you want. You can do stripes, you can do wheels, you can do calipers, you can do whatever you like. And that's what blows my mind is how adjustable and how much you can sort of work on the personalization of your car. There's no need to spec a car really anymore. Because you can order a kind of resellable color, like a black, and then you can just do whatever spec you wanted to do. And you know, a paint from Ferrari, a triple layer paint, will be like 30 grand, because you can come here and for about a third of that price, you can have that color. So I think this is why this product could be the way for it. Third and final day here at Topaz then. Um, there are some cool cars as you can see. We can't show too much because obviously they're privately owned cars, so we can't show you everything, but ta-da! probably repeated so many times what we're doing on the car, but, and you know already what's been done. Look at this. The front grille done completely in gloss black, and I cannot convey, I don't know if it'll come across on camera, just how OEM this looks. It just looks like it's come out the factory, like it was black from day one. Uh, we've also done down here as well, um, which is sort of, I don't know what you'd call this, the bottom grille all in gloss black as well, which looks absolutely epic. I mean, it's just so good. But my favorite, favorite touch is right here, the wheels. Now we've done the whole wheels all gloss black, but left the Kia logo in the, in the center uh, in sort of standard. And I think that really sort of brings it out more and with the red brake calipers, so much better than I even expected. And imagine this, these other wheels, the rims, you can just peel them off peel the whole thing off. If you want them to go back to standard, you just literally, it's so easy to do. Uh, we've done this bit right here as well, um, which is pretty cool. And then last but not least, they're just polishing right now. The final step is polish everything, because obviously it's paint, right? So you get polishing like that, and they're doing the roof in black, which was wrapped at first, but the finish on this is so much better that I thought we might as well do it. Oh, and also, last slightly mean touch, the Kia Stinger GTS logo in black as well. It looks absolutely epic and it's little details like that. And they've done it so well. And again, all of this is peelable. Whenever I feel like I can change the color, I can peel the color. It, you know, people say it's quite expensive. You could respray your car. A, it's cheaper than doing that. But also, you can just change it whenever you want. Whereas if you respray your car, it's just a nightmare afterwards. Um, so yeah, this is very, very cool. I can't wait to see it out in the light. I thought I'd just show you this quickly as well behind me, Yanni's car, which looks awesome. You guys know Yanni from Yanomize. Uh, his car's been topaz skinned as well in this, I th believe it's an original Lamborghini color. And you just cannot tell that this is not, you know, painted effectively from the factory. It looks so cool. And to think you could just rip this off and change the color whenever you want to. It's so, so nice. And I think it matches really well with his Nero design kit, the wheels. It's very cool. Taking it out now, the car's coming out. I'm so excited, look at that, with the wheels. It looks so badass. Okay, yep, 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 it is done. It is done and dusted. The whole car looks absolutely epic. Thank you so much. Oh my god. Look at that. I love it. With the black in the front now, it just looks so mean. Oh yes, yes, yes. A massive thank you to the guys here at Topaz. Uh, I'm just, I'm gonna go back in and say another thank you because they're so, so nice. It has gotten dark on my drive home now then, but I just wanted to end this video properly and say a massive thank you to Topaz, who are absolutely lovely, made, uh, did a great job on the car. 
and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It took, a, took place over a few days. We're gonna maybe film a few more videos under this format. I hope you liked it. Let me know in the comments and uh, let me know what you think of the car as well now that it's completely done. For now, the Kia Stinger is gonna stay like this for a while. Um, I genuinely really really like it as you know I do love this car not just because it's a long-term learner but I genuinely think it is a fantastic car and I've uh, really enjoyed my time with it and look forward to this updated look it gives the car a new life and I really really like it so thanks for watching as always hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you again very soon cheers bye bye